Have you ever been trying to watch a tutorial on YouTube just to get a quick information you're looking for, but the video has been 45 minutes? Oh, hell no. In this three part series, we will tell new players in World of Warcraft exactly what they need to know without letting you wait for too long to get that information. From basic to advanced to pro tips, this is From Zero to Hero, the only Warcraft guide you need. Before you start the game, you should decide on what you want to play. Don't worry, you can always create and level a new character. That will require either time or you can just boost your character in the in game shop. World of Warcraft has three different roles. Tanks that take a good slapping from enemies and protect his allies from too much damage. A healer who makes sure his allies stay alive even though they try to make your time worse. Or the damage dealer who primarily deals damage by either magic spells or cool looking swords. When choosing a server to play on, either pick the one your friends are playing on or if you are alone, make sure to pick a full server. Full servers are not full by any means. It is just an indicator of the popularity. The game will automatically put you on a server marked as new players, but those are usually pretty empty, don't have a flourishing economy, and even if most activities in the game are playable regardless of your server, you still want to choose a popular server to avoid spending $25 on a server transfer in the long term. Also, check your graphics settings. Depending on your current hardware, you might want to lower graphics settings to your liking. Feel free to tweak around as much as you feel comfortable. It's important to say that you must leave projected textures enabled. By disabling this, you will not be able to see really important things that can cause your experience in a game to be worse. This option becomes especially relevant as soon as we hop into some competitive gameplay, but that will be talked about later on. So, you finally picked up a character, miraculously made it to max level by either running around and kill a trillion boars in the forest, or by letting your credit card make the work for you. You end up in the main capital of the current expansion. World of Warcraft is a multiple decades old game that still lets you explore older content. But the first thing you should do is ignore everything. Do not get overwhelmed with the possibilities of what you can do. I don't know what I'm doing! You will always have time to revisit older content. By clicking L, you can open your quest log that will guide you through the current story that Blizzard is trying to tell you. Go for it. Prioritize the quests marked as campaign. They are highlighted. Everything else might just be a random side quest that will not have any priority for you now. Just take your time and quest and explore. Don't worry. If you get sidetracked by any unnecessary quest, just have fun and explore the most recent content to catch up in the story. If you have friends that are screaming at you, Oh my god, tomorrow at the weekly reset, we have to do some dungeons really fast. Yeah, I go for it, I guess. In our second part, we explain exactly what that means. Otherwise, if you're not in a hurry, just play the most recent content and quest along as we told you to do so. As in every roleplay game, your character has some equipment and talents that will make you stronger. By pressing C, you will be able to see your character with all his gear and a few numbers next to it. By pressing N, you see your current talent tree and the available points. Depending on how you reach max level in the time you watch this video, you probably have seen those things already in your journey. The best advice the talents that we have is read what they do and pick the coolest one. You should feel strong and for the beginning this is the most important thing. Sure, there are some mathematical equations that make your current played character tend to one or the other talent or even gear but this will be covered in our second part. Are you struggling with backspace? Check the auction house. Your auction house is the in-game version of eBay where money hungry players sell you their own trash that they don't need anymore for way too much money. But hey, if you have gold to spare, check it out. Don't get overwhelmed in the auction house. You don't need to buy an ice cold milk. Check for bags by clicking on the back title in the menu and click search. See what you can afford and what would be the best deal for your buck. You can also see if there's something that you looted during your journey that you can profit from in the auction house. Do not yet buy something that you're not sure if it's really good for your character or what you can do with it. World of Warcraft offers you a lot of activities in many categories like player versus player, pet battles, a scuffed version of Pokemon where you catch and train little monsters and let them fight, epic battles against computer enemies in dungeons or raids, or random activities throughout the game. Hereby it's important to note, if you ever encounter a yellow exclamation mark, he's giving you a one-time quest that will usually reward reputation to certain folks or experience to level up or gold. A green exclamation mark is just a flight point. Or flight points you can travel to other flight points that you already discovered. A blue exclamation mark indicates a repeatable quest that you can do once per day on every other day. World of Warcraft will reset all so-called IDs every Wednesday morning on EU and Tuesday morning on NA servers. That means most long-lasting and not yet covered by disguised activities will be resetted and can be redone to receive more loot. There are some priorities that you should set yourself as soon as you got further into the game, but this will be covered in our second part of this guide. There are also world quests. If you reach max level already, you will have noticed a lot of exclamation marks in a circle all around the current map. Those are activities that are only present for a short period of time and reward you with somewhat relevant currency. As already said, focus only on the map of the 
the content you end up at reaching max level. Ignore the rest of the whole world map. For now, just explore the current relevant world, do your campaign quests and complete some side activities like world quests or daily quests. Do not get overwhelmed if you end up having dozens of quests in your log. By shift left clicking a quest below your minimap, you can hide them for now. And if needed, you can display them again there by shift left clicking them again in your quest log. Focus on main quest as good as you can regardless of when you started the game. By doing this, you will catch up to all other players with the current story. By exploring the world and fight yourself through these activities, you will get to know how powerful your character can be and if needed, just see your talent points if you might want to make some adjustments for it, something that is just better in your own opinion. In our second part, we will talk about add-ons that help you with your user interface, how to earn better gear to become more powerful and then we take our first step into some more competitive content. Thank you so much for watching guys. Those videos take a lot of time and effort so please smash the like and subscribe button. I do this for a living so if you want to support me in any way, please check out my Patreon or visit my own store, link in the video description below. And in the meantime, you might want to watch one of these videos until I'm back. See you in the next one.